come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Thank you. Uh, we're a movie review podcast. You listen to us every week right here, wherever you found us. Do us a favor. Give us a like, a star rating, or a review. Uh, all of that stuff helps us get found by other folks like you who like this kind of stuff. What kind of stuff is it? You're going to find out. Uh, but first of all, let me introduce you to the Internet Radio Superstar. Holly. Michaela. Sean. And I'm Colin, and tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... John! Okay. What did we watch tonight? Uh, I mean, I mean, we wa- it depends. We, re- we really watched uh, Cobra Goes to uh, to Detox. To, uh, <laughs> Cobra Goes Cliffhanging? Cobra, Cobra Goes trains um, to, to, uh, fight Russians? to Rehab is yeah. basically what we watched tonight. Uh, we watched ICU. That's... Uh, ICUP? Uh, wait, ICU, Intensive Care Unit? Yeah, exactly. No, I... Mm. As in the thing like, in your face. Sean, the uh, audience can't see where you're pointing. <laughs> you should spell it out. You. This is in charades, Sean. Yeah. E-Y-E-S-E-E-U. There you go. Uh, also known as throughout detox. the world is Detox. Yes. From the year. Uh, 1999 slash 2002. And starring the. Incomparable. In, incomparable. In, yeah. Okay. Indomitable. Indelible. Builder of the wall, yeah. <laughs> the builder of the wall. Yeah. That's why you. The scaler that's of why the wall. you picked this movie. That's mostly why I picked because you were jealous of Jeffrey Combs. Not jealous me of him. No, no. Stallone called Whoa. me. Stallone. I talked to Stallone. Mm. He's like, mm-hmm. uh, well, I'm sorry, I know. Frank or so, Sly. I'm going to need you to specify. I talked to Sly. I mean, Frank sent me an email said, "Hey, you should talk to Sly because he's not feeling good about sure. this." Sure. And so I went out and I contacted Sly. Sure. And I was like, hey, I'm sorry. Um, th- there's a little competition going on here. Like, we, you know, what do you got? What do you got in the pipe that we haven't done already? Right. What do you want us to do? And he He's said, like, hey. rhinestone. He said, well, other than that. We're not doing that. Yeah. Uh, it's not in our. You got something more freak show Right. A little bit more. And he let me know about a little movie. Uh, called ICU that uh, I had never heard of, mm. uh, which is a kind of mm, faux slasher movie ish kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, from, well, it has uh, some of the late cred- late nineties, early two thousand. Well, it's it has some. Well, first of all, we're talking about the Wall of Fame is a Saturday Night Indeed. Freak Show staple. Right behind us here, we have uh, photos of all the actors mm-hmm. who have appeared in at least three of the films that we've discussed in our over 300 episodes. And directors. directors That's right. Directors. True, 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 true. true. And uh, on that wall, Sylvester Stallone is on there. I think this makes eight times. This should be eight, yes. Can you name them all? Tango and Cash. That's one. Cobra. Two. Over the Top. Three. Demolition Man. Demolition Man. Four. Cliffhanger. Five. Cliffhanger. Yep. Um, I see you. Six. Missing two. Um. We'll get it. We'll get it. <laughs> well, thank God you can just turn around behind nah, you. I could that. look at the wall, but that would be cheating. I, I feel like the other two I might not have been here for, and that's why I can't think of them. I bet you were. I can't think of what they were, but we've been keeping tabs over yeah, the two years. More. And uh, so maybe is it eight? Maybe this is seven. Anyway, at some point uh, we found out to our shock and horror that Jeffrey Combs, that's right. The reanimator himself yeah. has been in more movies that we've watched than Sylvester Stallone. He tied. And Unacceptable. He tied. And to even it out. Oh, I see the other two we missed. What we missed? Rambo three. Oh, right. oh, yeah, I brought that. Yeah. Oh. And Death Race 2000. Oh, oh there yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, way back yeah, when. Yeah. yeah. Okay, truth, truth, truth. so we there you we go. Weren't here for that so he's one. at no, eight. No. Is that what we're saying? He's eight. At eight? Yep. eight. Yeah. All right. So Jeffrey is only at seven. Okay. Yeah. So, so it uh, is still Stallone's wall. The rightful king of the wall. Mm-hmm. True. Right. Yeah. I think Peter Long Cushing is. Uh, yes. Uh, Peter Cushing is not too far off. Maybe I got to bring mm-hmm. like three Peter Cushing movies There's in a row. Three that you would have to bring. Um, but you said that this was a uh, a faux slasher movie. Yeah. You also said it was 99 slash 2002. It was filmed in 1999 uh, by Universal Studios. They started out producing this movie. Uh, It went through a bunch of, let's say, they they filmed it. They did some screen tests on it, tested horribly. Um, I believe it was like it sat around for two years before they decided to do a reshoot on it. This is according to Stallone. Um, they went back, did a reshoot on it. Um, they changed, I think, the ending and a couple other parts of it. Uh, put it together, finished it, 
and you know it was a limited release. It was like tossed in the garbage. Um, it got released in Europe as uh, I think Detox. That's D dash Tox. Yes, T O X. Yeah. 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 Well, all right. And then it was uh, very briefly released here as I C U. Yeah. In two thousand two. Yeah. So three years after it was initially Both filmed. bad titles. Well, I mean, Stallone is... Probably. <laughs> well, I mean, we've established... They really played up the ICU in this version. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, this we... is also probably an edited down version of this movie, from what I've read online about what was filmed for this. Well, you can tell because scenes kind of come and go, and they're little yeah. brief scenes that fade out, you know, at the end. Lots like, of TV I don't fades. think it was done, this scene, and it just kind of shows up. Um, Stallone is, as we all know, a, a national treasure, one of the hardest working men in show business. He Indeed. deserves everything that he gets. But there was a period of time, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like it was filmed in 1999 because uh, Cliffhanger was released in 1993. Cliffhanger was 1993, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And then so. shortly after Cliffhanger, I mean, he had, because that was like a, a, a the end of the action movie hero era, kind of was tapering off uh, the Last 80s. Action Hero was around there as well. Yeah. This 1993, the, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is when they all started to be, you know, like, uh, yeah, you know, it's like, like mm. and tastes were changing a little bit, right? Yeah. And so these guys are trying to stay relevant. Stallone had his big, uh, you know, Cliffhanger. And then I think that he was able to get daylight out of that. But what came after that, if I remember correctly, you will have to correct me if I am wrong. Uh, he made his bid for, hey, you know what? I've done all these acting movie or action movies, but I'm also an actor. I started out yeah. being an actor. So he did Copland. Copland. With Robert De Niro yep. and Ray Liotta and all that. It was a drama. Yeah. Right? It feels like that was the end of like the the Stallone Prime era, which strep- from, stretched agree. from like Rocky to Copland. Yeah, I would agree. Right? And then after Copland, there was a period of time where he was in a... Do you remember that he was in a Rennie Harlan movie called Driven? Yeah. yeah. And he wasn't the star. And they did was not Rachel mention... Cook in that movie? He, she might have been. I think she was. I don't <laughs> think they mentioned his... I remember seeing trailers for that movie, and it didn't even mention I Sylvester Stallone. I remember seeing a race Stallone. car driving through a city like, uh, uh, you know... Uh, what should we call it? Yeah, right downtown. Right downtown, uh, like the strip. Uh, driving yeah. through a city strip. That's what I remember yeah, about that Yeah, he's like the mechanic. or He's yeah. the guy who did it before and is sure. trying to coach the younger guy through it. Right. And it's like, it was just a weird sensation seeing yeah. Stallone playing second fiddle in a movie where they didn't even credit him in the advertising. And I'm Dang. like, what happened to Sylvester Stallone that he's like box office poison at that point? If we advertise that he's in our movie, people aren't going to go and see it. Can you imagine this? Do you remember this? <laughs> I, I do. Uh, although I do remember Driven specifically because of Stallone. Yeah, I then, wouldn't remember that movie otherwise. I was going to say, un- that's the only unless thing I remember it was for Stallone. Yeah, he was but he that's wasn't the only in any, if you go back and look at the advertising, really? it never I, says I remember, anything about him being in it. I remember it being a Stallone movie. Like, I remember the being yeah. advertised that way. I remember him and Rachel Lee Cook, and that's, that, that is driven to me. Well, he had a, then it seems like, then his movies came out pretty much direct to video. There's three of them that I remember, mm. and this is one of them, I See You. Uh, but there was Get Carter, I see you in Avenging right. Angelo. Anybody? I don't know Avenging nope. Angelo. Nope. Okay. Not at all. And then, basically, I remember Get Carter. I, I, think I remember, I yeah, I remember Get Carter, that. yeah. That had some, some shit behind it. That, that was a remake some, of yeah. the Michael Caine movie. Right, yes. Um, and then, I think they're going to remake that again, I think I heard. Probably, Another wait, Get why Carter. Not? Why not? Why not? Nothing original anymore. And then, Still I mean, remakes all of his movies anyways. Yeah. That's, that's what he true. does. Well, I don't think he's remake. I think it's somebody else who's doing a, a Get Carter. He's going to let someone else remake his well, own movie. Yeah, but it, it's a Michael King, you know. Right. But yeah. I mean, he's even doing a cliffhanger remake with Jason Momoa. Like, Is that's, he? Yeah. I thought there was the. the so the, he's remaking the his whole career. Remake. What happened to that? They made an announcement. They've said that about post- every action movie. No, but We're they made do an announcement. Version. They made a poster. Mm-hmm. They, they had people attached. Mm-hmm. Like, this was a thing. And uh, then it just went away really quickly. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember the announcement. Oh, yeah, there was a whole thing. It was a poster. Vapor. Um, But then you remember he did uh, Spy Kids 3D? Yeah. Yeah. It seems to me Spy Kids 3D was the last of the forgotten uh, Stallone era before he reinvented himself. And his next movie was Rocky Balboa, Uh where Sylvester Stallone pulled himself up by his bootstraps, said, damn it, if I'm going to make be a thing, I have to write and direct my own movies. And then he started with Rocky Balboa. It's still going. Well, what? Rocky Balboa is horrible. 
but there's uh, he par- he was able to get the Creed movies out of sure, there. He like rebought, in, rebought in Rambo it, back. He was able to do a bunch of things. Yeah, the Expendables. But the jumping series off and point was not good. Well, you got to start somewhere. Sure, you. But do. the fact that he was able to do it, this is like Stallone is a goddamn. It's a Hollywood success story. It like uh, twice for, for a lot of time. Yes, it is. And then like like with Creed, he got his. How many uh, his, his, yeah. uh, Oscar nomination? For, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, he was nominated for writing Rocky. I don't think he was nominated. The original. Writing, yes. Yeah. For, when, did he win? No, no, no. Okay. Didn't he? Yeah, I, I think, think Rocky it, got best screenplay, didn't I it? Did it? I think it did. I'm not positive. I know it got best picture, right? Oh, maybe that was it. I don't think it got did screenplay. It? I will check. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna fact check this because our yes. audience needs to know. But because I don't think because he would have alone written it, right? Uh, which one? Rocky. The first one. Yeah, himself, he did. I yeah. don't think he won an Oscar for Rocky. Okay. But I'll look it up. We're going to find out. We're going to have an answer for you any second now. So mm-hmm. in the meantime, though, uh, so yeah, he's he's been able to, I mean, he just had a film, you know, Rambo, Last Blood was in theaters. I mean, he's still getting theatrical films made and is still, you know, a box office commodity. Mm-hmm. And that's something that, I mean. Because at this point, he's a brand. He's he's still alone. That's, yeah. the, he's got that power. At like whatever he is, 78 years old or mm-hmm. whatever. He, he can't be old. That he's, like he's, he's like in his 70s. He's like 72. Yeah. 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 Something like that. There's Probably. another Expendables on the horizon. He's still doing some other stuff. So good for him. He's kind of a genius for hacking the system and doing his whole career twice. And yet we still all go see it every time and fall for it every time. Like good for him for pulling yeah. it over on us. Like I mean, That's an <laughs> achievement. You yeah. know, I mean. Yeah. Rocky. Uh, best picture. Best director. Wins or nominations? Wins. This is wins. Best film editing. Wins. That's it. He was nominated for best actor. He was nominated. uh, uh, Talia Shire was nominated for best actress, supporting actor, Burgess Meredith, uh, supporting actor, Burt Young. Best original screenplay. He was nominated, did not win. So we got picture, director, and film editing. But still, that's a nice bookend to a career that isn't over yet that he was nominated for uh, Creed. For Creed. Oh, no, it's great. For playing the same character. I think he should have won for that movie, yeah, that was personally, pretty good, yeah, but yeah. he was really good in that. Um, so here in the late 90s, when Sylvester yes. Stallone is like, uh, I'll take whatever you It's the got. youngest he'll look for a while. <laughs> Let, let's, say, <laughs> let's say that. Yeah. He it's the last time he looked, okay. ICU, or which was Detox, I think when he was, it was actually, there was another title. Yeah, uh, uh, don't remember. Uh, okay. But there was another title for this Not movie. Not Jitter's Joint, which Jitter was Jitter Joint, the, well, that was the book. That it was based on. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, it wasn't complex. That was last week's episode. Uh, it, it sh- no, it, it should have been like complex. That. that was what I was thinking when I was watching this. Like, this should be called complex. Complex. It should be. Um, so this is from the director, is it Jim Gillespie? Jim Gillespie of... He's uh, a Scottish guy who brought us... Uh, what, I know what you did last summer. There you go. Mm. And Venom. I didn't know what you did last summer. We did on an earlier episode, but he also did Venom. That's right. So he's one away from the wall, Jim Gillespie. Is. I'm sure you're going to bring Venom, because I don't know what else I'm he's done Venom. beyond <laughs> that. Uh, not not Venom, uh, the Spider-Man. Uh, no, 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 not that. This is like the, the, voodoo. the voodoo. The voodoo Venom. There yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> terrible, awful slasher. People being movie. brought back from the dead Venom. Yeah, snakes yeah, yeah. get into you and they turn you into... Yep, was nope. good. It was like a Miramax or yeah, Weinstein no. company, yeah. one of those. Dimension films, right? Um, okay, so I see you, right? We got the director of a popular slasher film, of the slasher film revitalization in the 90s. Yes. 96, right? That's uh, I, I, I know what you did this summer in 97. And so he, Gillespie, gets Stallone and a cast... A cast. That's actually pretty good for this it movie. Who, yeah, it is. Who's in this movie? Tom Berger. Jeffrey Wright. Charles S. Dutton. Robert Patrick. Stephen Lang. Sean pa- Sean Patrick Flannery. Flannery. Whatever happened to him? He <laughs> went to Dexter. Yeah. And then what? On a really bad season of Dexter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, the second was, to last season. That was like season. after his whole uh, Boondock Saints and, yeah. and whatever the hell you had. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that's where he peaked. Anything else? <laughs> I guess. Like nobody wants to hire Sean Patrick Flannery. Like, I feel like he shows up in random yeah. true crime I, stuff up from time to time. I, like I see him on a lot of crime stuff. And I'm not he thinking some, of he it. He did something else. I'm just like, oh yeah, he's in that, and then I have no idea. Yeah, and Robert Protsky's in this movie. Uh, Protsky, I think that's Pros- Protsky. 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 He was um, in Last Action Hero, also uh, the older. Guy. Courtney B. Courtney B. Vance. Courtney That's Vance. right. I'm also surprised he hasn't. I'm like trying. The there's so yet. many like character actors in this. I'm trying to remember them all. Yeah. There's a like, ton. Yeah. Chris uh, Christopherson. Do yeah. we say I that? We forgot Chris Christopherson. Yeah. Right. Okay. 
What okay. was uh, oh, Dina, Dina Meyer? Meyer? Yep. Dina Dina Meyer. Meyer. So it's a pretty yep. decent cast of people who mm-hmm. were like commodities at the time, either mm-hmm. yeah. uh, upcoming or had been, you know, character actors for a while. So what is this movie about? How do we? Oh, this is going to be a spoiler uh, episode. Also, just fair Very warning. Much. So where, where where do we start on this? It, well, first of all, my question is. Uh, now that we've pitched it to our listeners as it's a Stallone slasher movie, mm. does that moniker hold up now that you've watched it? No. Do you, do we, does yeah, it I think so. Yeah. I, I think it does. All right, I guess, all right. Maybe, yeah, I slasher think mostly maybe. it does. Yeah, slasher, okay. So I was it has a, all the things that a slasher movie, what does a slasher movie require? That, but I say it mostly holds up to My that. argument is when you read that it's considered his horror movie. I don't think it's a horror movie. I would say that it's a slasher story, but... Not horror. That's my opinion. It mo- it's because at the time you could really m- just shove this into the uh, it's a, the serial killer genre, like Seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you could just shove it into that because Seven is not a slasher movie, right? But it's a serial killer movie, and it feels more like it gets into that. Um, but then we get like costume dudes slashing people's throats, and you're just like. It when you say costume, like what's he look like? Well, he's uh, very much hidden in the shadows, but it also comes... It's the urban legend killer. It really it is. is. Like, the, he's got that coat going over it's his It's McCready's head his, jacket from the thing yeah, and an axe. And so it's got a, yeah. it's, it's a very the big, slasher look the for it. big uh, furry... Yeah. Uh, yep. like around the hood. I like it. I think they should make more of them. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I, this is like them getting to fulfill the urban legend they want, because that was supposed to be set during the winter originally, right? Right, I would hope right, so. because yeah. everyone was, yeah, yeah. instead of eighty degrees in yeah. which it was shot and, and walking yeah. into a pool with that coat on. Yeah, right. No, it yeah. probably should have uh, been. That yeah. would have been. Yeah, you're right. That would have been better in the yeah. way. So this is the wish fulfillment of that movie, right. this basically. Is the better well, and the guy, you it. know, so the, the I know you did last summer. He had the fisherman, which is still the the obscured head through the right, uh, yeah. the hood of the. So now he's doing it again. He's taking the sensibilities and he's bringing it to this movie. I think that's it, right? I and think so. You, you read the script, right, and it's like, well, I mean, it's basically a whodunit. Kind of, yeah. So you have uh, to obscure is, their yeah. identity somehow, right? Yeah, you know? yeah. Who's the killer? I mean, but it doesn't really feel like it doesn't feel to me. It didn't really feel like a slasher movie, even though it adopts some of the iconography of sure. the slasher genre. You're basically going to get a bunch of people uh, stranded together in a one location and pick them off one by one, yeah. aka uh, ten but, little Indians or something right, like that. Yeah. Although this movie does seem to borrow from both The Thing and The Shining mm-hmm. in its plot points. Mm-hmm. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I was just saying. There's a lot of thing in this movie. Yeah, a lot. Of yeah, I was waiting for way. somebody to come up with a blood test to figure out. Right. Them. Okay, so, but <laughs> we got to do killer? we got to do the setup. <laughs> it, it doesn't start in the Thing Shining situation. It no. starts in shiny. Uh, Los it starts Angeles? as seven. It starts, seven. It starts as seven. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain China. that. It starts as seven. What do you mean? Like it, there's there's a serial killer out there targeting cops and killing them all the same way, and they're like right on his tail. Right, and then there's a confrontation that is uh, basically a beat by beat pull from the apartment scene in Seven. Yeah, where they confront uh, John Doe and chase him through the apartment yep. through the streets and now another thing. It's it's the same thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it starts off with a, a, a really low rent uh, opening title scene. Sequence, yeah, oh yeah, very oh, yeah. but really yeah. wants to be seven. The bargain version of seven is not yes. nearly that good. But Saw was like 2003, right? Because we also have the guy who sounds like at any moment he could say, "I want to play a game." You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. the voiceover, the right? Um, the, vo- the voice modulated killer who's mm-hmm. talking to everybody. Mm-hmm. Yes. So this is something that I picked up, but I'm not really sure the movie was trying to hit at the serial killer. Uh, who you say is targeting cops. It turns out he is the killer of prostitutes. Beforehand, yes. Okay, but this is like a plot point that like I'm pulling out of fucking thin air because it's mentioned and like, what does it have to do with anything? And well, how is this he was an whatever? original serial killer mm-hmm. of this specific type of people. And because the cops tried to fuck him over, and now he's turned his attention towards Fuck them. him over yep. by, like, you know, putting him and, away. Right, yeah. Investigating yeah. him and they, trying. They and got being, in his way. <laughs> and they got in his way, and they got very close to catching him, and mm-hmm. so he decided, like, they are my next targets. Mm-hmm. So now he kills cops pretty much yes. exclusively yep. going through the ring. Because he thought, he said he was like, I was cleaning the streets. I was like, what he say? Something about getting rid of the parasites. Which is so he thought he was performing thing, a yeah. service and the cops were, he's like, hey, I'm on your team, guys. But now that you fuck me over, I'm going to come after you. It's very right, John so here's the thing that like I didn't get from this watch, but I wonder if it was part of an original script somewhere. I thought 
for some reason, my memory, because I'd seen this before, I think, right? You guys had? Nope. I, first time I, I watched. Know, I, I, saw it, I think yeah. when it came out. But my vague memory was that the killer was a cop. That he was able to, because it's, Stallone's like, we can't catch him because he's got no, uh, he, no crime seems the same. It's clean, you know, when he kills him, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, because the killer was a cop and he right. knows what cops are looking for. And so they go like, well, it must be a cop who's doing the killing. That wasn't at all in the movie <laughs> that we right. just watched. I'm it like, well, been... why do I have that uh, impression? Yeah, because it <clears throat> feels like it. Because, you know, he'd also be not in any system to look up any, like, you know, prints or all that shit because. Yeah. Also because there's a, a, a very weird revelation slash flashback that is, I guess, it's, is it trying to tell you that he's there later on in the movie? That he's there in the bar, like where they're all just like cheering and everything? Yeah. Like it's, it's trying to tell you he's there, well, that's right? The, that's the, the, the shocking revelation is that, yeah, the guy was in a scene that you saw earlier. Right. But like. I'm like, I didn't see him in the flashback. I don't get, like, there's a lot of logic jumps in this right, movie. Yeah. We'll get to uh, some of that. But, yeah, Stallone's out carousing with his uh, his cop buddies. Yeah. Stallone apparently. He's FBI. He's, yeah, he's not a cop anymore. He used to be one of them. Now he's FBI. He's investigating who's killing these cops, mm -hmm. which means they must be killing cops across state lines or something. Why is the FBI involved? I don't know. It's become a. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, think when cops, cops are targeted. The, everyone gets involved, right? You know, okay. Cop, cop murders, especially when they said there's what nine of them. Yeah, nine. In that, six I months? think, yeah. That, yeah, they get taken way more seriously than civilian murders. All right, so there it is. So, um, but then it turns That's out purpose. that after the, uh, or it's before the the seven ish chase after the quote unquote John Doe character, um, the killer targets Stallone himself in the most personal way possible. And what is that? A significant other mm -hmm. head in a box no wrong movie sorry <laughs> but sorry. that's where we're going <laughs> yeah right yeah he yeah. calls from outside the apartment i'm at her apartment right now we targets his cop buddy first when he puts a drill through his eye yeah in the kind of like yeah. half ha half half-assed gore scene that 90s horror movies would kind of give you mm -hmm. where you don't actually see it because they edit it out because they're afraid of the ratings you just board. see the aftermath mm -hmm. yeah. however i also didn't see I it coming it. Yeah, it was, was through the um, that. through yeah. the people. Worked. His finishing move is he rings your doorbell. You look at the peephole. He sticks the drill through the peephole yeah. and gets you in the eye. Effective. Yeah, yeah you, I like you, it. If you yeah. have a peephole, that's right. But again, I liked it. You want to see the yeah. best one of those? You need to see Dario Argento's Opera. Oh, it's not. It's with a gun, but it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a fantastic ballet of bloodletting. Um, so yeah, so uh, with uh, Dina Meyer, who Stallone was just about to propose to. Then you know uh, he at the very first scene in the, the, first, scene in the our movie, introduction to Stallone is image. He what are you doing? Right Him now? freaking out over buying an engagement ring. He does this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Stallone's an actor, right? I mean, yeah. he's a, a consummate actor. He likes having something to play off of. He yeah. likes a target. And is like, all right, that's the okay. thing I'm going to do. He right has there. to be doing something this with is his my hands. Prop. I, I need something is, to interact with. He is standing a significant. Uh, <laughs> A 10, 10 to 15 feet away. Away from a jewelry counter. And so he's that, just like physically fawning over right. whatever he's looking at, which so is that, a really tiny box, but you can't see it no. at first so that the because viewer he's just has so dramatic. no idea what's going on. Yeah. He's just being really dramatic and it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It is. And the only great. way Stolen can do. You're like, what is he doing? Because yeah. you got to do that whole like uh, the thinker pose or yeah. I'm thinking. Yep. Yeah. Then you kind of cock your head to the other side and you put your hands up in the air and you're like, Meh. Maybe. And he puts his hand like on his chest, like he's just like breathless at the sight of whatever he's looking at. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's, it's a pretty great tour it's de fantastic. force. Tour de force, ladies Man. and gentlemen. There's a reason why he built the wall, man. That's, that's, that's right. Not a, that's not. A, that's not a tour. That's a. It's a short <laughs> gesticulation <laughs> towards yeah. what's going on. I mean, just like, and here we are. Yeah. And so, yeah, he's about to buy this extravagant diamond ring for his uh, lady friend yeah. and propose to her. But before he can, she is taken from him by the slasher. And as soon as he's like, I've got something planned, like I've got a surprise or whatever. Like as soon as he doesn't do it, you're like, well, she's dying in the next scene. And she dies in the very next. Scene. Yeah. In the very next scene. In a very. <laughs> the way she dies, the way she's revealed that she's died is harsh. Harsh, dramatic, <laughs> and hilarious. Uh, what are you talking about? Hilarious. What I, the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> no, or, uh, maybe not hilarious. It's it's humorous. You in, sick in, bastard. And if you look at the cops and what they do, what do they do? 
The, well, they're all they're the world's in worst cops, line, yeah. and it's like a chorus line. This is like a musical. It's that's, like no, that's you know, you know what it is. You know what it is. Do you remember them? at the end of Titanic when she's like dead and she's on the Titanic once again, and yeah. they're just like lined up the stairwell leading right. to Jack? All the people you know. And that's what it is. Separate to show you your dead almost that's fiance. What it is. Yeah, hanging from the. Yeah, this is terrible policing. Ir- irresponsible cops. Yes. Yep. He came in that house hot, and they just let him run right, right. up there. And and like this said, is another feels, great. It's like a moment musical, though, because they should be like it feels like water polo at this point. They're just like they should be releasing their arms to like, like fall hill, backwards, like a hill Caesar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And going backwards. <laughs> where, 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 where is she? Where is she? <gasps> like and what? Music gets like, why are these people not stopping him at the right. door? It's a right? crime scene. Can we can we say before <laughs> that though? He like pulls up to the scene, but he like <laughs> flies up to the scene and actually hits a cop love car. Was that, that supposed that's to happen? I don't, I don't know, know. But I love it. I love it. the decision. Because it, it looked love like it. he legit hit that car. Yes, and he really hit that car. I don't think yeah. it was, that was supposed to happen. I don't think he was happen. either, but I it love that he great. did. Because that was great. that's what I wanted. I wanted that in the scene before. I got it in this one. Yeah, because he was at yeah. that point Hell in his yeah. career. He was like, I'm drunk. I don't care. I'm good. I love it. Hit more cars when they're not expecting it. Yeah. I like that. Add something. That was his actorly choice to add something. Add something to the scene. Well, because of this, he becomes despondent. He breaks down. He becomes a drinker. He gets the eye makeup around. He looks, right. you know, he starts smoking. He looks haggard, yeah. Stallone I still smoking. never saw him inhale in this movie. I'm he did. He, walk, he walked away with it in his mouth, but it, he was not inhaling. No, there's, he yeah. never inhales. So there's a sure. lot of smoking in this movie that actually doesn't happen. Like whenever somebody's about to take a drag, they cut. There's a cut. Yeah. There's always. I feel like, like T1000 was smoking though. You see the cigarette smoke really? like coming up. I don't actually know if you see anyone inhale I don't think there's any exhaling. inhaling and exhaling I think it, in this no, movie. This I is a very sensitive did. time in Hollywood where smoking is. I, th- I think you did. There was a wide shot where he goes and yeah, I saw that. Because there was another part when he was walking towards him and there was smoke and I was like wait is it really cold in there or was that smoke? I, I think it was and smoke. I think that's why they yes. let it go. I think this was a time in the 90s where they're like we need to cut down on we the smoking. We need to soften this movie. Yeah. Yes. I, cut I, all think, the smoking I think out that it. is a thing. So they're just like nobody can inhale and if nobody exhales we'll be good with that as well. Yeah. You can mm-hmm. have it in your hand. Right. So, it, I, But I just was like there's a lot of smoke in these scenes yeah. coming from somewhere. Like Robert Protsky's character has, there's smoke always coming up from the side always. of the screen. But you never actually see No one's ever smoking. like, <sighs> <sighs> Very weird. Never. Sean apparently smokes like a French person. Because yeah. <laughs> that's what it looked like just now. <laughs> <laughs> I smoke, I smoke like... French inhale? No, I smoke like Eddie Izzard impersonating a French person smoking. That's, All right. I'll give you that. that yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I kind of wish he would have committed like a Christian Bale in the machinist level to this like this turn this character takes yeah. and lost a bunch of weight and that got real great. haggard and like thin. Oh, ribs. Because like I mean, see ribs. He is thinner in this movie than like he's gaunt. Yeah, he looks a he's gaunt. yeah, especially in the face. But yeah. I really wish he would have gone that extra I mile. How, I was thinking that like I while we were watching would. it, I'm like underneath those clothes, that guy is a built motherfucker. Yes, he is. They just put big clothes him on him. Down, yeah. Just right. I think or maybe big, through yeah. his costume choices or whatever mm-hmm. to yeah. make him look like a normal dude, mm-hmm. so yeah. he doesn't look like Rambo. As focused as he is on his physique, I don't think he would ever go Christian Bale. I don't think so I don't either. Think so. He's just like that's too hard to get back to. <laughs> I can't he's, do that. He's worked his whole life to be a muscly man. Whole life, yeah. he'll never give that up. No, yeah. you see those veins? He's not giving up those veins. <laughs> <laughs> those are ropes. Those are ropes, ropes my friend. Yeah. Huge. Uh, he's got one of his are just, arm and kill somebody with it. I just keep looking at his hands. Like, yeah, right. Look at these meaty fucking they're me- paws. They're, they're, those are his mitts. Yeah, yeah. Like he's got his mitts. He's, he's, he's like good. fucking. Yeah, he's fucking yeah. from <laughs> <laughs> from fucking my uh, mitts. Sin City. My yeah. mitts. Yeah, he's gonna kill somebody with those. With yeah. Those oh yeah. Um, oh. Well, because of this, he he is so despondent um, that he tries to kill himself. Uh, Stallone. Imagine. That's right. A yeah. scene that you never thought you'd see in a Sylvester Stallone movie. This is a stretch. He goes home to the vacant house where his girlfriend killed herself. The her bloody stain was murdered. She's still. Kill oh, sorry. Yeah, that's Jesus. right. He goes to kill himself. Yes. Where she was murdered. Her bloody stain is on the uh, on still the carpet that they they took all the furniture, but not the carpet. Not the not the bloody carpet. That's right. After drinking, he sits down and he slices his wrists. And then magically, we cut to. I know. Uh, I was like, did we? Did I miss something? How did they find him? Him. Like I don't know. Um, did alarm, he did he change his now, mind? He, no, what when, happened? no, no, no. When he kicked the door open, the alarm went off. Oh. So okay. the cops are already coming. 
Okay. The, the alarm just like it fades out on the soundtrack. Right, it does. Because so his it goes consciousness off is leaving big at time, right. and I then it fades that. out while he's walking around the room. That makes drunk. Sense. He comes in, kicks the door open, yeah. alarm goes off, and then he sits okay. down. Yep. yep. And then cut you're like, to, and off to detox for that's you. That's right. Yeah. So now we're in the movie proper, which takes place. We cut to a, the, a, the tree line villain, a bunker, bunker. It is yeah, the, it's, yeah, it's the. The what is it? The something one base from Goldeneye. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is that. It base. Is. Like yeah, it. this is the weirdest fucking aesthetic. Why would choice. you send fuckers there to well, like? We want we want you to get better. Go to this depressing like, fucking place. Yeah, it's like well, boot camp rehab. It's weird. It's like, it's like prison. We're gonna, we're gonna torture yeah. you into getting better. Okay, but what are we talking about here? Where 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 is he going? Siberia, Alaska, <laughs> it sure Idaho, feels like Nebraska. That. It turns out it's Wyoming. Wyoming, that's it. Ah. Wyoming right. in the middle of Snow fucking winter. covered tundra. Now, of if you're Wyoming. trying to get guys to not kill themselves, why are you sending them to Wyoming in the middle of winter where I'm pretty sure everyone kills themselves? Yeah. Uh, this, That's I, just Wyoming this, in the winter. The whole mm. concept of this movie at this point like explodes my brain. Sure, yeah. So what we have here is a, a government facility which was used for what? I don't know. It's like a they missile it. silo or something. Uh, it was, yeah, something yeah. like that. Not necessarily a missile silo, but it was used for something up until a few years ago, and then the government bought it, and now it's been turned into a... Yeah, the, the government, government sold, sold it. it. The, the year, government the sold year it, before. And, yeah, yeah. And they bought and Chris it. Chris Christofferson, who is a, poli- who a former or possibly current police officer, has bought yeah. it somehow... And he is uh, cops helping cops, basically right. trying to overcome addiction. So or he's the, the big uh, poobah of this place, which looks like, as uh, was a Holly or McKaylee Michaela. said, the fucking yeah. G.I. Joe command center oh, out yeah. in the middle <laughs> of uh, the snowy it wasteland. Does. It looks like Cobra lives there. <laughs> yeah. This is where John Connor went when the bombs went off. Yeah, the you're Terminator. Like, this what is the f- this is a good. This is a production design Choice, choice because I assume that when it was written, it was uh, you know like a a, a regular clinic mm-hmm. somewhere probably like mm, right. I don't know. I think the, I mean I don't think they wrote it as like uh, I could be wrong, but uh, well I think they I'll bet they wrote it as for them to be like, cut off from the rest of the world. So so in, the, in this right, it's so Colin saying like a like a legit treatment facility. Yeah, it, well, not it wasn't like, a, like but still bunker. in the middle. Of the yeah, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like in the not in, a concrete bunker. Yeah, it wasn't in the notes like like a training facility. Yeah, maybe you know? this is where Jim Gillespie comes in. <laughs> right. and he's like training you know, facility, depressing. Yeah, yeah. He's Gray. like, what? well, you got to do a good Scottish accent, and say something. Thing, you know, to the effect of you know it, what would be good ah, is it's if, fucking gray. Yeah, <laughs> it was just gray all ah, the time. It's fucking gray all yeah. the time. I want to fucking die. A bunker. Yeah, ah, in the middle yeah, the of the fucking snow. bunker. Yeah, uh, and they can't drink and shit. Ah, oh, it's fucking depressing. See, but this is, is the good thing. Enough? Like, didn't it all nineties <laughs> movies have this kind of fucking concrete? Like, I, yeah, a hollow man. It, it feels, the nineties was yeah. made of concrete. It made of concrete. I don't know if you know this. Concrete. <laughs> I wore uh, concrete jeans in the nineties. Yeah, were they everything. jinko? <laughs> yeah, they were. The jinko cretes, as they called them. Oh god. The jinko cretes. Do you have a chain? Well, you I mean, gotta have that for your wallet. Yeah, from my mm-hmm. wallet to both my nipples. That's. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there's the TMI for tonight's episode. There you go. So, this, go ahead. Uh, crazy, my wallet. Uh, what would you call it? Uh, extreme, extravagant, improbable uh, treatment facility out in the yeah. middle of nowhere. Not practical. Right. Is where Stallone is sent to recover from his alcoholism. And suicide attempt. Yeah. Sure. He's yeah. I want to be fucking depressed when yeah. I'm uh, right. getting better from my alcoholism. Oh. This movie is missing wolves. You know, it needs wolves. wolves. They're so high up, they're away from like animals. Even like yeah, that's sure. how high in elevation they are. Just even animals frozen. are like just Fuck the that. just the, the the random threat of wolves would have been probably good for this. It just I don't I don't it's like who got him a serial killer or, or wolves. wolves. I don't like it when movies <laughs> tease wolves and then don't follow through on it though. Like I mean, don't should. don't don't introduce wolves unless you're really going to do something right. with it. You know, don't and just be like it's a kill vague the serial threat. Serial killer at the end of the movie. That's the problem I have with the gray. That's a big problem with that movie. Um. So there's another. So there's another B plot that's going on here. The Shining. Great. The Shining. What's What's happening there, Holly? Uh, what are we talking about? His uh, was it his chief or his partner? Who was that it's guy? It's Charles Dutton. It's, well, I know it's Charles Dutton. Dutton. So it feels like it's his chief. It's his chief. It's I think it's chief. his chief. Okay, yeah. His, but he described his, his like, chief, that's who's, my, who's that's the one my that other he, better half. Yeah, he's the one that brought him to rehab, right? right? And he uh he doesn't. He, he drops him off, but he doesn't actually leave. He goes to like the nearest town to leave, and then he comes back 
to uh No, he doesn't say he's leaving. He says he's going to go rent a cabin. I'm going to be right. here, he's gonna gonna go be here for fishing, while right? this is going on. Yeah. I feel like he was like if Murtaugh rigs, <laughs> but if Murtaugh like ascended to captain and it was just like, that was my former partner, right. but now I'm the captain, just because he's older. If only we had that information. I mean, sure, right. This is like, you're best friends, but I just don't get it or they feel, feel like it at all. They feel like they're really best friends is what they're trying to make this, yeah. make it in I this mean, movie. who but. else does Stallone have looking out for him right now? Yeah. He, but, he doesn't I mean, have any family left, you know, Colin. <laughs> it just kind of feels like they said, and then how about this guy? I guess I didn't get their connection prior to. Well, I mean. <sighs> probably because it was edited out in the various I mean, versions they, of this I movie. I feel like you it feel, was. You feel like they're close co-workers at like, the scene of the crime. And then it's when he comes and checks on him at the bar. Like, okay, right. they're actually close. At least you know that Charles S. Dutton yeah. cares. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's the scene else. at the bar. It's the scene that, at the yeah, bar. That's yeah. when you know that's he cares. You gotta have, yeah. 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 Um, so Charles Dutton is out here, much like Scatman Crothers in uh, sure. uh, Str- okay, Scatman. <laughs> exactly Man. like that. Yeah, in yeah. Uh, in The Shining. Yes, it's yeah. exactly like that. Where he's they have the same uh, coat, same, same coat. And the, I mean, there is but an axe that he could catch to the chest. Yeah, yeah. he. I thought he was going to for I a second he there. Gonna. He's trying to make his way back in a blizzard. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was like wondering, it's... is this the movie that's going to be? It's like he gets back to the where all the shit's going down, where they need rescue, and then bam, axe is, in the is chest. Is this the Doctor Sleep you wanted, Colin? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it. <laughs> Well, Maybe. <laughs> I kind of like that approach to this movie, honestly. <laughs> this is the Dr. Sleepy. The spiritual you sequel needed. to The Shining. Yeah. Well, he's like, um, I mean, you know, where was I going with that? I can't even remember. It's Charles Dutton's off there. He's going to get like a cabin to go fishing. Yeah, right? he's ice, go fishing. ice fishing. Uh, he m- makes friends with the local gun store, uh, fish and tackle. Yeah, who, uh, I, who yeah. I originally thought was Tom Waits at first. Mm-hmm. Which, yeah, yeah, might as well have been. I really thought it was at first. You could have cast him in that role. You could have, yeah. yeah. Um, good. Meanwhile, see, this is, I, this is where I was going, right? Mm-hmm. Imagine it, okay? Your friend is uh, hooked horribly on uh, some kind of chemical dependency. Sure, Sean. And you're like, <laughs> oh, you're like, you're, so Holly's like, Sean, I gotta, we gotta get you help. Yeah. So we're gonna you. pack up all your <laughs> shit and we're gonna drive out to the fucking wilds of Wyoming because that's, that's right. the only place that we can go. I, because I, I love you. I hate you. <laughs> I, I do hate it because you. I love you. Sean. I, I hate you. This is not gonna help me. I I've been to Wyoming. Was, it's gorgeous. Yeah, but this is a, I, in the I middle just, of winter. I don't. Yeah, I don't see this happening. Right in the middle of winter, like we're gonna drive off to some fucking oh, cobra bunker in the middle of Wyoming. I was from, there in July and there was still snow. Oh boy! Well, yeah. I mean, it's always snowing yeah. somewhere in, in, up in the mountains of <laughs> Wyoming. I don't know if that's true. Sorry, Wyoming. No, it's true. Wyoming. It's true. Wyoming. 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 Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I wish so, I will never. I mean, when you send someone to rehab, though, or detox, you do have to uproot them from their community and this their routine. Yeah, Otherwise, it won't true. be effective. So mm-hmm. you can't just send them to the like closest place to them. You have to remove oh, them right, from then. their routine. And I'm going to take it as the the movie is. Uh, I mean, is this place I mean. extreme and unrealistic in its aesthetic and its approach? Yes, yes. but yeah. you know, yeah, it's a, it's also a movie. It so serves for yeah. the purpose of the movie, mm-hmm. which is basically we're going to isolate a bunch of these. The, the, everybody is a cop here. Uh, mm-hmm. Except the doctor. Arc. There's the doctor, uh, Polly. What's her name? Working, working. I, I yeah, yep. Uh, yep. Tom yeah, Berenger is the maintenance, the custodian maintenance man. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we have a cook. Yeah, there's yeah, a, not cook. Positive. Yeah, there's a cook. <clears throat> and uh, Chris Christopherson, who runs the joint. There, yeah. Everybody else, in which case, there's probably like ten guys. Some of them you recognize, yeah. and others that are like those guys are going to die soon. Mm-hmm. Um, all get d- together in group therapy sessions in the turbine or whatever <laughs> of the uh, right, the middle. <laughs> yeah, Robert Patrick's uh, one of them. Yes, and soon those guys begin to get picked off one by one mm-hmm. by a. Uh, a uh, 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 killer. Well, maybe well, not. At first, well, maybe at not. first you maybe think not. it's suicide. Right. There's a lot one of guys, One guy's found with a needle in his arm. Another guy's found Robert, somehow Flannery hung is, himself yeah. from a sink. We need to talk about this. We, we need ta- to talk about this. <laughs> I have uh, this. From, I, I'm not even going to say a foot. Six inches off the ground. It's He's he hung, hung himself. himself from the like U shaped pipe on the bottom of his exposed yeah. sink. Yeah, and yeah. but like so his whole body's on the ground and his head's lifted like you said, Sean, about six inches right. off the yeah. ground. And we're meant to believe that's how he well, hung himself. That's the thing. We're 
that's the thing is everyone is like, oh, he hung himself. And Stallone is the one that is like, no, because the bruising is wrong. It's like, that's why yeah, the you, bruising is wrong. No, down his, no the his, bruising is right. The bruising was oh, the right. Bruising the bruising is right. Is right. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, well, so why did like, no one point out that you if can't hang yourself that right, way? Uh, uh, if the bruising was neck. wrong, it'd be straight across. It's it's okay. triangular. So this killer so is right. so insidious that I it think makes he, it look I think like, he, like you stood actually on his fucking did body and just like you're you're hung, you're done. Yeah, yeah. but that's the thing. That's like nobody is questioning like yeah. how he did this. Yeah, but why did that's n- that's the thing. Yeah, why did no one see him laying like that? It's like you can't hang yourself. I that am way. prepared to take it as gospel. The people who made this movie because it has when we were watching the credits, it has Ooh. consultants from the FBI, oh, good. Uh, like seven different, at least four different branches of law enforcement. Somebody told them, you know what? I've I've seen guys actually do this. How how I does that happen? I wouldn't doubt it. Like they they uh life finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, death does too. As life uh, As, uh, finds life, a way. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, finds a way. <laughs> um. Well, there it is. Jeffrey Wright plays one of these characters. He does. Okay. He's terrible in this movie. What? Yeah, Who he's terrible. Him? Who are we talking about? Smiley. Jeffrey Wright. Right. The guy with the scar on his face. Yeah. He tried to kill himself, like but it Felix, blew out half of his Like Felix Leiter? Yeah, yeah, I said Westworld. Yeah, yeah, And you yeah. all looked at me like I was crazy. Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't, we yeah. didn't hear it. I didn't, I didn't hear it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeffrey Wright. You think yeah. this was a terrible performance? Uh, yeah, I think it's bad. No, I think yeah. it's fine. It's oh, I thought he was like, the, he's, he's the standout to me. It's like scenery chewing like crazy. I was going to say, he's absolutely insane. I was going to say, he's chewing pretty hard, but I think that's what it was supposed to be. Yeah, That's because cool. at yeah. one point Jeffrey Wright was the guy who won. Did he win an Oscar for Basquiat? He was like not like he burst on the scene as like this guy's a fucking actor. Mm. And now I haven't seen him act anybody other than Jeffrey Wright for yeah. He's been years. Jeffrey Wright for a very few years. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. his Felix Leiter and his Westworld guy are exactly yeah, they're the all same. just like they all talk in that very serious way. Yeah, makes sense for Westworld. It, well, I mean, it, 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 what he's doing. Like it. Yeah. it does, yes. Yeah. And yeah. that's how, yeah, it worked in Hunger Games. But at one point, he was an actor, and right. here he's channeling yeah. John Leguizamo. Yeah. He is. Oh he is. He is John Leguizamo he really in is. this movie. I would movie. much rather see John Leguizamo I in this movie. I would have probably, too. But um, that's the thing about this movie. Every person in this, I was like seeing them as a faux other actor. Like everyone in this movie. It was Robert Patrick. Hmm. Who did I? Who did I think he was? Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, he is funny. like he's, the, outra- uh, he's trying to be outrageous. Yeah, whether he is or not, I don't know. But he's, he's the super aggressive. Um, right. He's the dominant alpha. alpha male. Yeah. yeah. He's just like yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fucking pussy. Which of course yeah. means that in the end he's gonna be he's gonna cry. And yeah, dogs and like, oh, yeah. I want to die. Naturally. John Leguizamo doesn't seem like the type that says no to things either. So I don't understand how he missed this movie. You know, yeah, his <laughs> like, agent fucked yeah, up. Yeah. Like he's he's usually the guy that you're like, oh, we were able to get him. Him for a movie, cool, but yeah. instead it's like he he was above this apparently. Well, maybe Jeffrey Wright, like Seth Green in the Attic Expedition, said, "You know what? I'm going to uh, play this like I'm John Leguizamo." And said, you know, Seth Green did uh, Jeff Goldblum. Goldblum. Yes, yeah, so you yeah, keep talking about like, this movie. <laughs> he's just like, I'm just going to act like another actor mm-hmm. and see how that goes over. Um, all right, so what do we have to cross so when we're talking about this before we get to the climax of the movie? Uh, this is, we are introduced to uh, eventually, there. Is, oh, oh, the mm. thing comparison. Sure. Right? Oh, right. We can't yeah. trust Everybody's each other. Running. How do I know it's not you or yeah. you or you? Or you, and everybody's constantly running in and out of the cold yeah. and the blizzard and all that shit. And with their <laughs> McCready coats and all that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. The mm-hmm. thing. There's an influence in you, this movie. You could tell they had to talk Stallone out of a flamethrower. They'd be like, no, oh, that would have been good. We're already, was, that would have made we, this better. Can that we just say this, this entire movie. movie? I was waiting for an explosion or some sort of like True. huge fire. The whole movie, so I was waiting for movie. it. A flamethrower yeah. would have been good because you figure if that was in the version, the first version that tested bad, they still would have kept it because they're like, sure. that's a flamethrower. Yeah. You know, uh, I think cool. they're like we're already towing the line, man. We, that'll really push it over the edge if we have Stallone using a flamethrower. Oh, oh, I, I should have loved that. Yeah, there's no reason to have one though. There was every reason to have one. Not I was waiting this, this whole movie. movie for it. Well, it's but not- it's all right. The only reason you have a flamethrower is because it's cold. Mm-hmm. That's right. the only reason you have a flamethrower. Sure. Ever in a movie. Yeah. So you don't need it unless there's some. I mean, you that's know. not true. We're not going to look at aliens. Shut Once up. upon a time yeah. in Hollywood. <laughs> Well, true, but that is that is a very specific and very well pulled off. Perfection. Perfection. That is the perfect version of that scenario. But usually when it's cold, 
flamethrower. Gotta bring out true. the flamethrower. Yeah. 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 Some good shit. Well, we've got Charles, uh, Charles, uh, uh, Dutton. Dutton eventually figures out that, like, he finds a body in the ice fishing right. hole. This is the, uh, so that means that somebody up at the complex. This is what I figured is that somebody up at the complex killed off someone who was supposed to be there and took their place. So Naturally. somebody is not who they're supposed to be. And would it surprise you, listener, to learn that the killer from Stallone, who has targeted Stallone specifically, is that killer? Holy who has shit. Followed him all the way to Wyoming. I am and shocked. Installed themselves at this detox clinic. Did and not see that coming. Yeah, insulted that you would think I would not know that. Right, because that's this guy's entire mission in life. It's right. like he knows he's going to go out, right? He's going to. He he's does. He said as much. But he wants to fuck with Stallone. So that's like his only thing that he uh, really mm. wants in life. Right. And so he's there killing everybody else. He's not like trying to pin it on Stallone, which I thought was maybe where we were going to go with this. Mm. Like, you know, maybe Stallone's doing it. Okay, maybe that was think about him. I feel like that was a thing that got cut out of this movie. I feel like that was there. There's because lot, I feel like there's a lot that got cut out because from what I've heard, there's many versions of this movie, uh, and there's a lot that's been cut out between you know again uh, between that first like screening Universal disavowing this movie Universal uh, produced this movie but then it was just like don't involve us yeah we don't want to be part of this it's bad this is why it sat on the shelf for like three years uh we have we want nothing to yeah, do they sold Leave it us to somebody they did they else, sold it to someone think, for distribution was it uh <laughs> dino de Laurentiis uh or the deg group the D, yeah the dej <laughs> dj i think it was yeah they eventually put it out well there yes. was that part when all the cops are first coming to check into the detox unit that they all have to hand over their guns and we see very close like masking tape labels with their names put on each of the right. guns and put into a safe that doesn't shouldn't you come find back at this all. gun near a dead body and suspect whoever's name is on it? yeah Just like, uh, like yeah the, exactly the torn clothing in in the thing right i yeah. thought they were going to come up with like maybe the uh, the 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 blood test scene which even uh the hateful eight which is another version right. of the thing figured out right. how to do the blood test scene like we're gonna find out which one to use you know right <clears throat> happens there it doesn't really happen here they just kind of mention that i can't trust any of you. it could be you it could be you how yeah. do we know it's not you it's yeah, but it's barely mm-hmm. there. But then Stallone asserts himself basically, like by figuring out who it is. And when he comes in and tells them, like it's totally Snyder or Slater. 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 Um, Slater is uh, the British. The British dude. The British he, guy who like, Jason Statham. Why is there a British dude in the he wilds was, of Wyoming? He, uh, uh, I don't know. He's he said he was from a specific organization. London police. He's like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it did like why he would be there. I don't know because he had addiction and they don't have addiction treatment centers. No, and, not at all. Because like Michaela said, they're trying to get you away from what you know, right. so they right. ship you off to right. America, spend the money, and send you away from where you're at to America. Yeah, yeah. play it down in Wyoming. Who's got this addiction thing figured out? Apparently, what is I don't Chris Christopherson's so. treatment regimen? I mean, he, group therapy. Let them talk. Group therapy. <laughs> Does he's he, like, he doesn't do anything. He's just no, he's like, like you guys this is talk. Uh, this is not this. It's not yeah. that. It's just for you guys to it's talk. It's group therapy, you know. and then there's a nurse there to handle their meds. Yeah, they insult each yeah. other and get in fights and stuff yeah. like that. And it's like yeah. for this facility, you would think he'd come up with some like really ultimate way to cure these dudes. And it's just like this is uh, extreme, and uh, this is outside the lines of you know the usual. That's why you're here. Mm-hmm. None of that shit. No, it's just like. Also, they made yeah, it. So we'll just show up and talk, and right. eventually maybe it's you'll the get same better. Thing, and maybe you won't. But you're in winter. I oh, also yeah. like the fact that there's we see uh, uh, newspaper clippings like cops helping cops and cop buys things yeah, and detox yeah. and, all. and then they get there and they're like, oh yeah, we've only been here for like a week. Yeah, yeah, a week, two weeks. This is a, a tried and true program that has one week to its yeah, name. Yeah, one right. week and you're and, cured. And Jack, your uh, ex. Convict oh, murderers, Stephen Lang. Yeah, Stephen Lang, your ex shitty dude is working there. Is like, ugh, God, the, the, I mean, so many decisions have been made that are wrong for the this facility and the workers who work there. Because he's like basically a psycho. He's basically I a psycho. He was being treated there. He's not. He's a no. He's a, like an orderly. 
He's ba- he's an orderly. I'm pretty sure they Him call and him Gibson that. or whatever. Gibson, the other, yeah. yeah, or Gilbert. Gilbert, Gilbert is because name. eventually we're going to get a bunch of scenes where guys who are all wearing these fucking parka coats. They're all running are around. running around in the snow, and you can't tell who's who. And people are. It's a very shadowy environment of long s- concrete corridors. Right. Very and snowy. People are dead and dying, and you're like, I don't know who's killing who or whatever. You but Stallone, after everybody turns on him, they're like, Stallone, it's him. Because he's the only one who's gone crazy. He's locked everybody up, right? At some point, he's like, fuck it. Sure. It's all of them. Locks them up because that's he's alone. That's what you do. You're taking charge. Yep. And Tom Berenger is like, you know, whacks him upside the head. Locks Stallone up. Let's everybody else out. But Stallone figures out because he finds a matchbook. That was given to him by. Was it? I don't know. I, I don't no think idea it's in the movie. Means. I'm pretty sure it's not. I don't know why he deduces that no, this person no is the killer. I have no idea what that means. See, it a lot of these movies, they hinge on the ability of the audience sitting there to see a clue and go, the no. shoe drops, and you go, aha, mm-hmm. the aha moment that you have, mm-hmm. and that adds to your enjoyment because you're like, I understand, or like, oh my God, right. it was him all along, or right. whatever. You, I mean, that's you want your audience to do that. You want them to yeah. be there with you and to figure it out. If if not at the same time, maybe a little bit before. But well, you have your suspicions. I think that's what you what you go through when you watch a movie. You sure. have your suspicions. You're trying to figure out motive, or you're like that guy's cast because he's probably the killer. Right. But Sean, we're going to use Sean B. Yeah, <laughs> Sean B. Like, well, it's probably him. But in this movie, it's like Stallone figures this out, and we're sitting there going like. What What? in the fuck is he talking about? And then it shows a flashback, which usually in those scenes are like, well, this is that scene that you saw before, but you didn't notice that the guy, the suspect is actually there. there It shows a scene and I'm like, where's the dude? Was the dude there? No. Yeah. Because they would usually be like the matches from the bar. Right. And then like, oh, like a shot. And then maybe like a little slight little pan around. Just like, oh, he's there, too. Yep, did no, not happen he wasn't in this there. movie. No, there's a lot of uh, uh, unnecessary flashbacks to moments that happened forty seconds before. Well, yeah, yeah <laughs> you have to put Dina Meyer in the movie. Well, this was a thing that was going on in the '90s, and why I kind of hate yeah, a lot was. of uh, '90s genre cinema because that was the decade where they figured out for some reason, even though everybody on the '80s was on cocaine, and in the '90s they were on heroin. Uh, somehow, uh, attention spans deteriorated to the point of like two minutes Mm -hmm. where you had to remind somebody of something they saw two minutes prior apparently in a flashback like what the hell dina meyer died remember dina meyer died yeah well i mean it means something to him though it's his haunting him sean he's got to remember all the good the good times he had with dina meyer because that's what's motivated he's remembering he's remembering her dying it was even before that it was when his friend died his friend that was out drinking with him. Yeah, right, the one who yeah. got the yeah. uh, nightstick shoved down his yeah. throat all yeah. the way. He dies, yeah. and we had just seen them in the bar two minutes earlier, and they had to show a flashback of that yeah. within like two minutes. It's like, no, well, I remember exactly. What yeah, we at least I remember that, that guy. But bodies movie. start turning up. Where I don't know if you had this experience, but I sat there going like, I don't know who that is. No, they just yeah. like show it a happens. guy, and I'm like, there's a lot. Who the fuck is that? Yeah, it's like Jack. Jack's doing it. Like, who's Jack? Uh, you I know, knew Jack, but there's the cook. Where the cook was became a part of the the group that was running around outside. I'm just like, we saw him like uh, did once. He die? Yeah, he, I think he died, but I don't know because he's not like distinguished among yeah. the cast in this movie. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, okay. It's very like, and then this happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not like you know. It really does feel like they're trying to salvage this movie. Yeah, none like, of these it dudes are Wilfred Brimley. Like well I can't tell together. by the mustache or the, <laughs> yeah. the beatus. There's too many got, like weathered, middle-aged, balding men that all look the same in this movie yeah, to differentiate like, yeah, them. And then you put them in the same put them all in the same coat, and it's right, rough. Like, At least oh, give them different he colors died? or something. Great. Who was he? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Well, give them colors. Put numbers on their jackets. Something. Something. You gotta. You know. We gotta know. Well, this is all going to lead to a, a showdown where basically we are going to, because this is how these movies work, we're going to try and recreate the exact uh, psychological situation that Stallone suffered from and failed at in the first part of the movie, right. which is he didn't save the girl yes. right from the killer. So the killer now has an opportunity to restage this because there is the pretty uh, doctor uh, and Stallone takes a liking to. And she becomes uh, the target of the killer. Right. 
This and is so like, he can uh, restage it again. Like, did you have you didn't have a chance to save her the first time? Can you save her this time? Right. This is like <laughs> Nick Cage's mindset in The Wicker Man. It's like I couldn't save them from the car when they blew up. I'm gonna try it again. Right. Is he able to save the girl this time, Sean? Don't leave the audience in suspense. Let them know what happens. Did he? Yeah, he did. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's that memorable. There that is a thresher. Memorable. Uh, oh right, yeah, he, yes. he, he does. He does. Yeah. He does. Oh, yeah. Did we also say he impales him. It's great. Like The Shining. Uh, well, uh, the uh, or, or, sorry, like the thing. Yeah. The killer cuts off all uh, contact with the outside world, sabotages right. all the vehicles, Can't do that, yeah. and the boiler doesn't work, so it's getting cold in there. You don't really feel it in this movie because nobody like has breath. The no, whole thing shot in an indoor true. stage. You actually feel like everybody's sweating through their fucking parkas. yeah everyone's very moist by the end of this movie they're yeah. just like ooh, it's it's hot in here mm-hmm. it's been running around a lot it's supposed to be really cold but whatever no still, um it's very sweaty and stolen eventually does confront the maniac that is slater and throws him onto a thresher mm-hmm. a couple times yeah. Well, you can't just throw him onto a Yeah, he pu- he pushes him into it the first time, and then he right. pisses then him he off. Him. <laughs> How does he yeah. piss him off? Okay, because this is key to Talks understanding his, his, the madman psychology. Yeah. He's like, when I killed her, she called out your name. Yeah. This is all this guy has going on in his head. Yeah. That's it. That's all he's got. Because I am here. I was playing a game with you, right? Yeah. And you've been playing this game against me, but I have won. Mm-hmm. Even though you have me on a thresher, I still win because I can psychologically just press this button and you'll go. Yeah, yeah, you, I yeah. Press he the button. killed your fiance. He won. Yeah. yeah. Before yeah. he throws him on that, though, Stallone gets a gnarly like butcher knife like through the radius he in the ulna of his forearm. I always like when they get that knife through the arm ugh, right here. Ugh. It's always. But I, I say I like. I'm just like that is one of the most <laughs> that is one of the most cringeworthy like, yeah. injuries you can get in a movie. Mm-hmm. You're just like. Bing. You know, it went like, right oh, between those two bones. Oh, yeah. No, stop. Yeah. Just through that it hurts. muscle. Yeah. It hurts. <laughs> and it oh. hangs in there for a bit. It does. Yeah. Yeah. And he gets so long going, uh, 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 uh. I can't do it. Yeah, I don't enough. even know if he does it that much, though. He's pretty subdued in this movie. Like, I yeah, know. he doesn't react that much. When was the last time he spoke in this movie? It's been a while up to this point. Because mm-hmm. I think that most of the other characters do there's, all this. There's no even, there's no Stallone yelling like, and then nothing. None no. of that. Mm-hmm. That's, I think, what it, uh, something that I noticed was that at the end of the movie, when he, you know, that it's like, wow, he isn't really talking or doing it. Like, no. he's not, his character's not driving the plot. All the other characters seem to be talking a lot more about, like, what's going on and having dynamics. Yeah. And he's just kind of like, well, I'm here, and it's glum, and mm-hmm. I guess his only real confront or contact is with the the doctor. She's really the only person that he talks to or confides in. I think they were going. Point. Yeah, I feel like they were going for the fact that he's just numb to everything at this point, right? Drugs. But aren't you supposed to be on a character arc? You know that like the guy is. Uh, oh no, I don't agree with that choice. I'm yeah. just saying that's. That I think that's what they were going for. So he's almost like a non-entity in his own movie, but kind does, of. because of his brawn, uh, end up... Uh, I mean, his one big moment was like, oh my God, I found this uh, matchbook, and holy shit, it's Slater. Yeah. Because yep. he was at the bar. That's the only way I can have this matchbook. Yeah. So he gave it to me. He was at the bar. It's him. Sure. Boom. I like Pretty the much. way that they all, like, as soon as he comes in, he's like, Slater. They, they give him his gun back. Yeah, he's like, I found this in his room. Like, he couldn't have just had that because he was the killer. Uh, yeah, you it's know? fantastic. He found uh, yeah. badges and shit. Very trusting group of cops, aren't they? Yeah, they're like, sure. oh, here. I mean, hey, it, they're all, no, they're just happy. It's like, oh, it's somebody else and not me? Fine. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> we, I, we can all turn on this dude. one yeah, person. Exactly. Yeah. Like, that's perfectly fine. If we all If we all agree it's this one dude... We're done. Mm-hmm. That's, that's actually pretty believable. <laughs> it is because yeah, that's that's all we need. Yeah, but it's the the shot. Courtney Van, uh, Courtney V Vance is the guy who has to actually pull this off, uh, and it's just kind of his his expression. It was it was great because he's like. I mean, it's one of those things where you kind of you laugh to yourself, and then you turn your head one way, and with the, the you hand the gun off the other way. So he yeah. looks right and hands the gun off left, like aha, I knew it all along. Thank God. And he hands the gun to Stallone. Who, chuck, chuck, all right, we're going off to fucking take down Slater. Yeah, this is in the fiery climax. Yes, fiery of the movie. Well, there's a thresher. 
Do we know how much time has passed in this movie? Like, like a, a, like a day? This is, yeah. It's very quick. This it's is very a quick. day or two days. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not. part of the rehab because they're only there for a week, right? But I was because a storm comes in. We didn't right, mention yeah. that, but if, you, you assumed it, right? We sit in the snow, but it's a storm. Yeah. I was surprised that at the end of the movie, they didn't come out into sunlight. Yeah, I kind of was too. Uh, also, aren't there still people like in the in the bunker? I thought everybody was dead. Are I'm they? Not sure. Yeah, I think, I think that they was killed it. them all. Mm-hmm. I don't couldn't remember. keep track. I, was like, I don't. Charles Dutton does show up, you know, and they. I don't. Out. I don't remember how the other female or Westworld died. How did the female die? I think they're still in there. Westworld isn't dead either. Yeah, I think they're still in there. I'm pretty sure you're right. Okay, eh, maybe. I think I'm so. Not positive. Mm-hmm. I don't remember Pretty sure. called. I think killed. they just left Probably them. they got killed in uh, the other cut uh, before Maybe they did the reshoots. That is quite possible. I am wondering if they just changed, like, who did it in the reshoot. I think the who did it stays the same. I, like, I, I always think. felt like it was supposed to. Because, I mean, we. I always had a feeling. I was like, it's probably the British dude. Yeah. I feel, I feel like that was always the same. I think that same. stays the same. I think the maybe intricacies of... The deaths of other characters may have changed, yeah. or the fate of other characters may have just been left out altogether um, between these cuts. But I think he stays the same. Uh, maybe in other cuts we do get to find out what happens to her, Lopez, or whatever her name is, mm-hmm. and Jeffrey Wright. Um, because I know there's a cut because there, there's always the mention of like there's more, there's more with Dina Meyer, there's more nudity in her shower scene and what have you. So I, I have to imagine there's more in that cut with the rest of the characters. But mm. I don't know. This feels like a, no. I don't think anybody's ever gonna like come together and be like, hey, we should find all the weird. Yeah. You know uh, what? Cut the original out cut of, of uh, Detox was probably the cut to see. Probably. Yeah. Probably. We should. Check that. That'll out. That'll never. Be, I don't think that'll ever be. Fun. No, I don't think so. Never. Sloan might have to die for that one to come together. I don't even think he wants it. To no, come together, I'm pretty sure uh, he doesn't. Based on his comments, I'm, about I'm this not movie. too sure. He's not proud of this movie. Well, I'll he said. That. I think he said a producer left during production. Yes. And once that happened, this was at Universal. Yeah. And once the producer left, it was basically like you know this is Downhill. the unwanted child. And nobody really wants to do anything with it. And then they yeah. finished the movie. And then, like, the screening went bad. And yeah. I was like, Reshoots. okay, what are we doing with it? You know, I think yeah. that's a little harsh for this movie. He's made way worse movies than this. Yeah, oh, but God, was, yes. I, I agree. But he, this was at a very delicate time, I think, in his He's career. Sensitive. Like, he needed... <laughs> He needed, he needed a, a yeah. good movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was like, fuck, I'm I'm in one that's not going to, like, I got to get away from this as fast as I can. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, we should probably, uh, we should tell you whether or not you should watch Detox slash ICU. But before we do that, we're going to keep you in suspense. We're going to answer some of your mail. And to do that, we're going to need to summon our mailman. And his name is Igor. Get over here, Igor, and bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. He's got an ICU under his eyelids. <laughs> Just like that, that one that's body. A, that's a commitment to get, uh, you know. And thank you, Igor, for getting ICU tattooed under your no, eyelids. No, it's just eyeliner. He doesn't know the difference. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, uh, this is the interactive portion of our show, listener, and we want to hear from you. So the way that you can get a hold of us is you can follow along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or maybe on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us directly. Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo.com. Or follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Dave Forbes writes in about ICU, and he says, this movie is very middle of the road. I've seen better, but I've seen so much worse. Mm, mm -hmm. Shame you could tell who the killer was a mile off. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe I don't feel like, I mean, you could, but also like the cut we saw was really jumbly. So yeah, could have been anybody. Yeah. Yeah, The whole whole time I was like, I feel like it's this guy, but I wouldn't have been surprised. I wonder if a different, are there different cuts out there that you can find of this movie? I don't think you can find them. I think there are different cuts. I don't think any of them are available. Gotcha. So I think this is the only one you're going to be able to see. Yeah, I think this is the detox 
cut is this? I, I think just so, a yeah. different title. This is it. Because um, I had a feeling towards Tom Berenger for a little while there. Mm-hmm. That did not pan out. That's what out. I was wondering. Well, was I, Tom Berenger the Tom killer Berenger in another was cut? was a little bit. But, yeah, but uh, I don't think so. I think you get one cut of this I movie. I think he was always supposed to be kind of the red herring. Like, you think it's going to be Tom Berenger? I yeah. because he's the only one who's locking people up. And yeah. then, you know, the killer's like free. So, like, they're definitely pointing towards him. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, Stephen Haynes writes in and says, I remember this being an okay slasher slash whodunit type of movie that kind of got lost in the shuffle when it was eventually released. I was baffled as to why Stallone was in it. I know his career wasn't in the best shape at this point, but never thought I'd see him in this type of movie. Mm. Yeah, that, yeah. That, I think that's that's what why we picked it, saying, right? Because yeah. yeah. this is the only type of movie he's ever really done like this. Yeah, I mean, well... Kind of. All right. I, I, would, I would say like uh, Cobra. Cobra has thing. moments. Cobra's Cobra an has, action movie, though. This is not an action yeah, movie. Yeah, but it there's has a like a lot of horror. Sla- there's a lot of slasher yeah, in yeah, that yeah. movie. There's a lot there of There are slasher. moments so where there are, yeah. One, More like so than this one, I would say, yes. Uh, Nick Capriola writes in and says, I dug the drill bit through the peephole thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, I like that idea of just like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, it was unexpected. It's a little stunning. Simon Carter writes in and says, from what I remember, I kind of like this movie. It's an interesting enough whodunit that has no particular need for Stallone to be in it. I always wondered if he was doing a favor for a friend or trying to release something so fast that everybody would stop talking about how bad dry driven <laughs> was. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. All right. Simon Carter also wrote in again. And he said, oh, okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. I, I, I'm drunk as fuck once again. I can't help but wonder what you guys make of this movie. <laughs> my review is similar. It's, it's not with the best Stallone movie. It's not bad. I'm looking, at the, <laughs> I'm looking at the two paragraphs that you have to yeah, get through we with gotta, this. Yeah. I hope you guys have fun. He's, my God, this took several edits, edits to be even <laughs> remotely coherent. Thank you very much, Simon, for writing in, and we will always appreciate. I, I don't your- welcome to Simon Carr's drunk corner. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to be personally reflected in our viewers, our listeners' thoughts. I you I say that like, like oh, like Sean, how many beers have you had tonight while we're recording this? Yeah, pot meat kettle here. Three. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't like. I understand that. That I. I am. I am him. Like, Yo, you said saying. I don't want to be reflected by you're drunk be, like, I tweeting don't, other or drunk. Uh, but I don't want to see podcasts? myself in that. I uh, I see myself in that, and <laughs> okay. I don't want to. Oh, okay, you like, don't want the mirror. I got you. Uh, right, I don't want the mirror. I gotcha. Like he is me. I'm saying that he that I is. appreciate that he thinks of us when he's drunk. I, I like that. I like that. Too. Well, that's yeah. that's, that's a sweet right? sentiment. Yeah. I think you think you think about the people that you love when you're drunk. Yeah, exactly. About last week, drunk thoughts, sober word. Wait, no. What what what's that saying? So is it thoughts drunk words? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. That's what it is. Uh, last week's uh, we watched a Blood Rage last week, we and did. Uh, Brett Williams writes in and says, uh, "Okay, I guess I remember seeing this VHS cover in the rental store, but I never gave it a rent. Though, how do you have a holiday slasher film and not work the holiday into the title? I'm sure Sean will want to watch the second Blu-ray <laughs> in the Arrow <laughs> film set that has the TV version of it retitled A Nightmare at Shadow Woods. No. no. Damn right I do. Yeah. No. Did I've you been, order I've, it, Sean? I've been looking at it all week. I really have. Is it the top of your... the night. Oh, I've been really... Yeah, I'm just like... Order it right now. Is it like the top of your cir- Christmas list, like circled and underlined? Might, well, oh, this I is all I want I, for I Christmas. I I don't think the three disc version of it is available anymore. That's um, I'm saying. You want the 120 from eBay but I, but I, on your right, Christmas that's list? That's the one I want, and I'm not going to pay it nah, for it. Yeah. But like, I want if I'm going to get into it, I want to discover <laughs> breath of fucking <laughs> blood rage, the breath of blood rage. Well, uh, I'm not going to get it. So, eh. Michael Whitaker said uh, had the year. Uh, which was 1984 or something like that, not flashed on the screen of Blood Rage, I would have assumed it was present-day Jacksonville. <laughs> it's Florida Slam. Yep, that's nice. a, that's which a dig. I'll always, always take a Florida we, Slam. Right, which we can always get away with. <laughs> yeah. Because it's Florida. Specifically Jacksonville of all yeah, cities, too. Jacksonville, Tampa's pretty bad. Jacksonville, Orlando, yeah. Orlando Tampa, anywhere mm, yeah. in Tallahassee. Especially Central, yeah, Central Florida. Yeah, we can Ooh. get away with that. 
Well, you know, Jimbo Ice writes in and says it's just barely a Thanksgiving slasher, but the hijinks of Terry and Todd certainly racks up a respectable body count with the expected prosthetics and nudity from the no-name actors. The steadily inebriated mother and her per- peculiar antics are charming enough to keep me amused in between scenes featuring gore or boobs. On a final note, what on earth was with the narrator talking over the dialogue (laughs) in the psychologist scene. My girlfriend, who's endlessly patient with my awful movie fixation, and I couldn't, all I could figure is that the audio or the delivery was so bad, the only way, that was the only way they could save the scene. It's gotta be. Well, and they had to have the pie throwing scene. They couldn't cut that out, so they were like. Well, first we (laughs) Well, he throws it against the wall. Pie squishing, and then pie throwing. Yeah. But uh, that was apparently not part of the, uh, that's, that's an extended, like, extra part of the the, uh, what do they call it? The combo cut? Like, that is a, an additional part of it, which wasn't in the other version. So I imagine there's not much great audio behind that. But or there's something, a, there's, or there's, something they're clarifying there's, a plot point sure, or something that otherwise would be. But there's a lot of be. great visuals. Mark Soper that. was acting his and ass off and they needed to keep it in. Fantastic. You know that's in his reel. That yeah. scene. It should so be. He demolishes like, that like fucking pumpkin pie. His, uh, differentiation between the twins. I it's love. Great. I think yeah. it's. I think it's Holly, great. You have to see this I movie. <laughs> you have to see it. It's, it's a awesome. Thanksgiving movie. You still have it is time. A Thanksgiving movie. Really Watch it with it. your I'm family and friends it. on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. Uh, about. I, I think I'm going to watch it again. Right. Yeah. I want to. <laughs> it's I'm on a, Amazon Prime. Right it now. is. It is. Oh yeah. I'm like. Or if you have Shutter, you can watch it with Joe Bob Briggs on the last drive or the holiday uh, dinners of death. Uh, about uh, the previous weekend's movie countdown. Carson Snar yes. says this movie sounds interesting. It's not, not what you think it is. It's, yeah. It's not as bad as you think it is. It's either. definitely not as bad as you think it yeah. is. Well, well, that depends on which half of the freak show you listen to. Ryan Larson says he saw it today, so I could be or so I could be up on the episode. I like that people are playing along yeah, and yeah, you know, absolutely. So thank you for watching ICU. <laughs> uh he says I saw it today, so I could be up on the episode. You should get a cut of my six dollar and seventy five cent ticket. You know, it's not doing well at the box office, which we said that would probably happen. Probably. Yeah. I'm gonna do the math and see what percentage we make up of its box office. You know, actually a <laughs> second week I looked, it dropped thirty four percent. That's not bad because no. that was like kind of within time. black and blue. Dropped fifty four percent. Yeah, Yikes. that no, that is a that is a first week. I'm interested in that, and then just and then yeah, bad you, word of mouth. Yeah, yeah. your second week bad word of, word of mouth. Anyone who was interested in seeing it is gone, it, and it's done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fifty four percent is like a pretty. That's that's, a, that's it. Wow. That is nobody else wants to see it. I thought yeah. thirty thirty four percent was bad, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah. Um, the Scream Queens po- podcast said PJ Burns as the dope smoking uh, rap loving Comic Con nerd priest was a fucking comic revelation, but they just forgot him. They're lost because the communion wafer munching mofo deserves his own damn franchise, and this old queen has spoken. He's the new insidious franchise. <laughs> yeah. You just yeah. spin him off. He's got to show yeah. up in the in sure. Countdown 2.0. I loved that he oh, was definitely. snacking on wafers. That was funny. <laughs> yeah. I think he. if they made a sequel, he would definitely he show would up. He would have to he be would in have it. To. Yeah. He would definitely show up. Him and Tom Segura would both be in it. Well, Tom Segura's well, dead. Well, he's dead. Well, oh, he yeah, that's right. Yeah, because oh, oh, yeah, it was that post-credit scene. <laughs> he is. Yep, that, that was spoiler. pointless. Oops. Hey, I'm sorry. That's their fault, not ours. Uh, hey, the movie's been out for like almost two a Two weeks now. and nobody saw I don't, um, think, I don't think anyone's sad about it. Yeah. <laughs> Grant <laughs> Parrish uh, writes in and says, oh, wow, Colin mentioned Takashi Miike during the podcast, and suddenly my college years of watching Audition, Gozu, Itchy the Killer, and more right. were given meaning. Thanks, Uncle Colin. You're the best. Easily my favorite. Sorry, Sean. Sorry, That's right. I have other fans out sorry, there. Sorry, Sean. It says sorry, what about Sean. Michaela and I? <laughs> well, I think That's fine. Grant, I think Grant fine. pledged his allegiance to Sean in a previous. And uh, now he's switching teams. That's so. right. All right. Yeah. Well, team everyone Colin. should watch Audition, by the way, once in their life. Hashtag Team everyone Colin. Should. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> yeah. true. Audition. Man, well, even, it's like, even I didn't hashtag Team Sean. Like, but now you can down. just calm down. What is it? Is it hashtag team, team Sean or hashtag tag team Colin? Uh, Are we drawing is, lines here? Is Audition <laughs> Takashi Miike's best or most accessible movie? Uh, I would say, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that dude's made a fuck ton of movies, but you know, he's That's got like what, like 60 directing see. credits or something That's like that? That's one you need to see. It's the one, yeah, everyone should see for sure. Yeah. The, uh, there are Cooking things about that movie that's really still good too. 
Well, one so missed call is like a pretty good like horror movie. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a, but it's a, it's right. not as good as The Ring or The Grudge. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know? I um, thought my my what I thought Ichi the Killer was going to be was better than what the movie ended up actually being. I was mm-hmm. a little disappointed by that movie, but but it's gory as yeah, uh, it's still worth watching. The nipple slicing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a yeah. <laughs> um, about our movie, The Fun House. We did The Fun House. Larry Block writes in and he says, <laughs> I forgot about this. He says, dudes, your Larry, podcast Larry is a lot less focused than the movie, which actually had a three act structure. I know because I wrote it oh, next shit. time <laughs> you might consider mentioning the screenwriter. Try watching it with a live audience. I guarantee you'll love it. All the best, Larry. All right. I'll mention the screenwriter now. Your script sucked. <laughs> um, Listen, I admire an artist defending his craft. No, I agree you with know, that. You know, he's and achieved I, more and than I, we have. Right. And he's I written say, two movies. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, give and the guy some your, respect. No, no, no. For God's I say sake. your script He sucks. wrote a movie that was just fucking directed by just Toby as, Hooper. Hold on. Dudes. Hold on. Just as like a reaction to that. Now, I don't know. Uh, I don't think your script sucked. Now, because... And I'm not going to sit here and defend the thing. We, you heard what you heard on the podcast, and that's it. Yeah, we like have. I'm not going to sit here and defend my opinion. No, no, we all have our own opinions. Like, yeah, that's you just, heard what that's we heard. What so is. there it is. Also, watch it with a live audience. What are we? Well, we're right. pretty we're, live. We're yeah. four people who we're watch it together. We're four people that watch it together. Yeah. That's again, a live audience. And again, if, like, I'm pretty sure. I, again, I'm not going to sit here and defend this shit. We said a lot no, like, that. We, we have, said a lot in the wrap up that. We have our opinions. Yeah. We have, Sean and I both recommended the movie. Yeah, we did. I like the fun house. I do too. Again, I don't want I to I did not to you, and I fucking yeah. stand by it. I yeah. I don't That's, and the I fact agree. that the, honestly the I don't and the fact that he is bothered by me not liking it gives my opinion more validity. So thanks. Again, yeah. if you <laughs> haven't uh Sorry uh, dude. Uh, dear dear listener dear Brailler, if you haven't been following my interaction with with Larry Block on YouTube and Twitter. What's uh, your Twitter handle so people uh, can uh, follow you? At, at that Sean Tyler. Um so find that <laughs> and find our interaction. He it's wants been, to come on our podcast now, apparently. Fun. Yeah, he, he, he he's done it. He's come on this our is, podcast. I well, love he, how he you know, sandwiches it with compliments, though. Well, because you know? he's like yeah. taking it as a lark. You know, the uh, he's almost on the wall of fame. He is. Because we, we did, discussed this. Yeah, we've been talking about this all day. That's right. Yeah. We did uh, Captain America. We did. 1990, uh, was that not Red Brown? Was that Red Brown? Red Brown was Yeah, it was. One. Yeah. No, no, your? No, 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 no. Red, Red Brown was the old one. No, no, no. Stop. Red Brown was your. Yeah, yeah, he was in both. Captain That's America. what we're saying. No, he was not. both. Yes, we talked about this on the episode. Red Brown is not your. Or yes, not he that is. America. He's in. We talked about this on the episode. All right, Google it because we Red talked Brown, about him being Red on the Brown wall. Red Brown is not Captain America. No, look it up. Red Brown is not he, Captain Red America. Red Brown was a Captain America. And I'm trying to remember if he was the was TV he one the or t- the nineties. If, if he movie. was, he's the TV one. He is not the movie. The old movie Captain America. I remember who? Not at all. We watched this too. We uh, did. He yeah. may, maybe he's the guy. Who, there's two TV movies. Scott about, Jacoby or something was some, the Red Skull. Right. Uh, if there's two TV movies where the, the uh, Captain America wears a motorcycle helmet as his helmet, and he maybe was Captain that's, America in Captain America Two: Death Too Soon. That's that it. Is, those are the those. TV, and yeah. those are it. He Red is. Brown's he TV is one. not the old movie Captain America. God damn it! I can't remember who that guy was. Okay, it'll but come. He, well, he's well, like. Yeah. Yeah. But point is, but you know him. He's two times on uh, on the freak right, show. One he more. Two but times. And Larry but Block. It won't there's happen. A, there's a length we'd have to go to get him on that wall, which <laughs> you know. I don't think he uh, has another. Those uh, are his two I credits. I don't it. think so. I don't think Still, he's going to get there. It is a thing that he wrote a script directed by one of the Mount Rushmore horror film. Yeah, directors. it's an accomplishment. Yeah. Toby Hooper. I mean, true. this is a uh, you know. More yeah. power to Yeah, more than I've done. So yeah, that's we're not, right. good we're for you, not, man. Yeah, we're not saying like, dude, that's awesome. Good for you. We just didn't like the movie. Yeah. Two of us didn't like the Two movie. Two of you, yeah, didn't like the movie. <laughs> uh, so that brings us to the most exciting so, part of the show. So we'll sh- skip your, inter- your yeah. live interview for the night. And we Did we ever, to- I'm sorry, I've been staring at it the whole time. Did we ever thank our friend for sending us this picture? Did we ever do Rusty that? Ryan? Rusty Ryan? I don't know Ryan if we did. sent us the most beautiful picture of um, Lucy from Bram Stoker's Dracula. And it's fucking amazing. It's um, a, did he paint this? He, I think he does. Um, um, it feels like, like it's a screen. stencil. It's a stencil. I think it's yeah. a, a screen. It's very good like stenciling. It's amazing. It's, it's fucking um, amazing. What is his? What's his eBay? 
Or is it eBay that he has a thing? Of? What? His, Sean, reach behind his you. His card's Sean, back there. He's behind you. We have his yeah. cards. We right need there. to talk about this, and we'll we'll post a picture oh. of this thing. He um, does femme femme fatale. Femme fatale. Or, yeah. Femme. Ferocious, ferocious, ferocious femme. femme. Thank you. There you go. Read that. We'll read post that. a picture yes. on our social media. But this he's done a lot of good amazing. shit that we he, like. He has sent us T-shirts that have yes. been amazing, and the latest thing he sent us was this gorgeous picture of Lucy. Yes, he does and good it's art. Fucking awesome. We he's an like awesome it. artist. It's ferocious femmes on eBay. Yeah. Check out his store. Check it out. Plus, he has. Buy some shit. He has a like his home is a horror movie memorabilia. It's like a museum. museum. It's, it's crazy. Amazing. I think you can see the video on YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy. Yes. Yeah. He has an appreciation that we do admire. For real. We will say. Props. It's Bravo. Amazing. To him. Yes. Thank right. you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So uh, that brings us to the wrap ups. We're going to tell you whether or not you should watch. Oh, yeah. You remember? We watched a movie called ICU. Should you watch it? Here, the gloves are off. Colin. Take those gloves off and tell me what you think about Sylvester Stallone's ICU. Um. Yeah, this uh, is not a good movie. Uh, you, you're, you're, it, it's. I mean, it's unfortunate, I guess, for Stallone himself, you know, at this point in his career, like I said, it's like it was a weak spot in his career and he chose badly. Uh, my, I think I'm going to lay the blame at Jim Gillespie. I mean, the reason that you haven't really heard of him post, I know what you did last summer. Uh, he got saddled in that case with a Ke- Kevin Williamson script. Kevin Williamson was coming off of Scream, so that was a thing. Um once you take that away, it's like, I don't really think this guy is a good director. I mean, I don't want to say hack director. He's probably listening to the show. He's going to write into his next. <laughs> um, hey, bring it on. But his, uh, I mean, watching this movie, it does commits all the cardinal sins of what I hate about 90s cinema. You have your After Effects titles. You have your, uh, you cut to the slow motion cam uh, often. Which isn't really slow motion. It's that stuttery slow motion that yeah. I really hate because it's an avid effect that you put on. Um, it's the movie's virtually incomprehensible. You know, I mean, I was sitting there going, I mean, I couldn't tell who was getting killed when and by who. Yeah. Some of the action scenes were just like, I, I mean, it was just shot and edited in a way that was very frantic and trying to make you think that things were happening. It looks like all these 90s films had that a kind lo- of, lot that of same look. And like we were talking about, like with the um, lens flares in the anamorphic uh, lens uh, with the, the concrete, you know, uh, set and all this other stuff. I, I'm just tired of it. I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. I don't think he had a, like an idea of how to stage the actors or direct them or give them uh, like this is, I, I mean, unless, you know, the studio, I mean, this is possible, right? You're saying there's multiple cuts of this movie. Yeah, the I mean, there's said, a lot of studio thoughts. On yeah, this they movie, said yes. it's not working. And so his original cut was bad. And then they made According reshoots. to them and the testing and all that. And it just doesn't make knows? any sense. Uh, and yeah. it's a very, you know, I, you wouldn't go into it looking for a Stallone slasher movie because it's not a, even though Steve Johnson, uh, who we talked about on the show before, he's a makeup effects guy. He did the, uh, the effects work, but it's all cut out of the movie because this is a yeah. time when they edit the, they were afraid of the MPAA. And so they cut all that stuff out. So it has no exploitation elements and it's, uh, I don't know. Stallone's just depressed the whole way through the movie, and I don't know that I want to see a depressed Stallone movie. Like, Stallone's got to be just the hammer. He was pretty depressed and over the top. Yeah. Oh, he? he was yeah. not no, compared to no. this. This he is mopey Stallone. His, yeah, he moped all through right, that whole right, fucking movie. Are you kidding me? Melodramatic, maybe. He, he didn't do any yells or anything in that movie. He no, was but, whispered but and hardly a, talked in that movie. There's a thrust. There's action. He's what's well, an he's action awesome, movie? But he's all, it's well, a different well, type of movie. But what I'm saying is, like in that action movie, he's trying to do shit. Like, like he, he feels like, like he's, I have, on, he's I on a, a mission. Yeah. He's, he's on a mission. Yeah, right. He's yeah, driving yeah, yeah. in a plot. At he's least. on a mission. Yes. In this yes. one, where it seems like he's swept along, he's got no mission. Yeah, it's just a very odd, you know, trying to put Stallone in this you know, scenario. I mean, it could, I suppose it could have been anybody else, but it's just not a good, it's not a well-written movie. It's not a very good directed movie. And it is ultimately forgettable because it's also jumbled up that you're just like, I don't even know what the fuck happened in that movie. So yeah, I would say pass on ICU. Holly, what'd you think? 
Yeah, I totally agree with you. I think that every element of this is pretty forgettable. I don't think the writing's good. I don't think the direction's good. I don't think the acting's good. There's nothing really... I mean, I've seen much worse. You know, we had some of our uh, uh, listeners write in and kind of said the same thing. They're like, I don't really remember much, and I didn't hate it. That's kind of how I was like, I didn't yeah, it's hate all, it. It's like fuzzy. Like, it's just like, hey. Yeah, I didn't hate it, and I wasn't spectacularly bored or anything. I kind of lost a little interest, but I wasn't, you know, looking at my watch trying to like figure out when this was going to end i just wasn't really into it it didn't really give me anything that was super satisfying i don't think it's i mean it's definitely not an action movie i don't think it's a horror movie even though it's been classified as that in some cases um slasher movie maybe but it's not a good one it's got that you know product of its time where it's kind of that diet slasher movie you know you're like i know i know what you did last summer and movies yeah. that came out around that time they had that diet element about them where it didn't give you a lot of blood it didn't give you a lot of gore yeah that's it a was, good that's a good a label for it, the right. diet slasher movie. It it's is. Good. It is. So yeah, it didn't really give me anything that was super satisfying. I, uh, I think I don't think there's anyone that really needs to see this movie. You know, you could say you want to get through Stallone's entire catalog, sure, but that might be the only case to watch this movie. So I got to say, pass, Michaela. I'm thinking about this movie, and if they want, like, if you really, if I was gonna. Like write a clickbaity like think piece about this movie. Uh-huh. I would say what would, that, your, what would your title be to drop? I would, in? What's your Buzzfeed? Yeah. I would say that it is what's an argument listicle? against privatized health care because <laughs> <laughs> you let right. you let Chris Christopherson run his own private right, Bond yeah. villain oh fucking uh, a, treatment is, center. This is the area. Like this is where Bond villains are made, and it all you goes to right, shit. Yeah. Like he had Brilliant. two days running his privatized treatment and center, and it all. It all it ended really in like good. the worst way it could have. A bunch of cops died. How is he going to spin this yeah. shit? You know, yeah. like if how do you come back from up. this? Yeah, like, <laughs> but like, like that's like I'm kind of like wondering like what happens at the after this movie ends, right? right? Like yeah. how like how did like is anyone going to believe their story? Like yeah, you know, that's, like that's I, I feel like wonder. Stallone might still try to kill himself. What what better option does he have at this point? You yeah. know, like well, he I, may have a relationship with the, uh, doctor. the doctor. Yeah, See, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 but, I still didn't get like a total romantic vibe yeah. there. I no, think he just, it doesn't feel romantic. I think he it just felt feels, like responsible. It but, feels desperate or, on yeah. each side. But what's yeah. stopping this whole thing from being pinned on them? Right. Yeah. Like you know what I'm yeah. saying. Like so that's uh, the movie that happens after the end of this movie. Yeah. Would be a courtroom <laughs> drama about how they sure. didn't do it. Yeah. Um. I. This is like an intersection of Stallone and crime procedural i think it's more of like a crime procedural than yeah but it does have a lot of slasher elements too so um i because it's an intersection of those things and this is one of the only times we ever get that and we're never gonna get another movie like this with stallone for me that's enough to call it a win because what what else do i have to go to to see this Maybe Cobra. Is still, uh, that, Maybe that Cobra. Is the, that is the closest thing. But we'll like, get to, yeah, yeah never, we're never going to see this again unless he decides that he gets desperate enough to remake everything in his whole catalog that he remakes. He doesn't have enough too. time. Yeah, I don't think. Um, as so Stallone, are you, are you saying you liked it? Or you just think you should experience it? I I liked it. Okay, I liked it because it's Stallone in a crime procedural. What what other options do I have if I want to see that? Like it, Cobra, and that's about it. But like those are two things that I like that are intersecting, and I mm-hmm. like to see them rub up against each other. I like to see the first act of Stallone in the Seven rubbins. knockoff. You know, <laughs> like I kind of wish the whole movie would have just been a Seven knockoff because I think it could have been a lot right? better. Yeah, it should have just <laughs> stuck real. with the Seven. Should have been, but it's cool They're, because yeah. this is like this is like um, this is like Stallone walking through the greatest hits of like eighties and nineties horror. Right? He's <laughs> yeah. wa- he's walking through a scene like. He's He's in I'll fucking walk wax among work, the 90s right? At this <laughs> yeah, point. exactly. Like he's walking through the thing. He's walking through the shining. Like, right? It's, I get to see Stallone walk through the greatest hits of these movies, and I'm right? fine with that. So that's enough for me to say I think you should see it. So, Fair Sean, enough. there you go. That's a. Michaela, that's a convincing argument. I will say that. That is a convincing <laughs> argument because you do get that. Um, and there is that influence of many of those things. Like it is a late 90s movie. So, of course, it's influenced by Seven. Um, it's set in a fucking oh, a winter wonderland. So, of course, it's influenced by the thing. Um, but oh, this is a tough one because I wasn't. Uh, while I wasn't bored by it. I'm just like I. I don't think what it adds up to is worth watching. Um. Yeah, it just this. It, it's 
I don't know. That's a tough one. I don't think I I, I don't think I can recommend it because it doesn't have enough. It is very depressed. Like Collins, it's very depressing throughout. It is a very depressed Sylvester Stallone throughout this movie, and I don't know that that's necessarily how I want to watch Sylvester Stallone. Mm. Uh, um, again, unless it's Copland, that's a good movie. Uh, and he's sure. an underdog in that, you know. Sure, um, but like this movie, I don't know. It's it's a weird movie. It's got a lot of slasher elements. It's it's got a few horror elements, but it's just it's ah, oh, this is a mixed bag of 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 a movie. Um, there's a lot. There's 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 things about it I like about it, like the imagery. Um, just just the whodunit version of it. Like you know, there's people get killed randomly by the. Uh, like the hooded killer out in the middle of winter. Like that's, that's just a cool setting to see people get killed. Um, so I, you know, I like that. Um, but uh, I don't know if it really, the movie does not make a case for me recommending you to watch it. I don't, there's not enough in it. That's going to make me be like, Hey, yeah, you should see this movie. Um, so I got to pass on it. There's some interesting stuff. And again, like Michaela said, there's n- there's some stuff in this you're not going to get anywhere else, um, which, you know, which is cool, but mm, not enough. It's close, but not enough to make me recommend Detox slash ICU there. Sylvester Stallone. That sounds like he's a final still got, He's still got another one. <laughs> <laughs> that counts against uh, counts for him being you know head of the wall, but I don't think I can recommend it. It's not uh, there's not a whole lot there, so there it is. All right, so that's ICU. Uh, next week we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Holly. <laughs> Holly, what are we watching next week? Next week we are going to watch a quintessential Ooh. bad movie. Ooh. It is possibly the worst movie ever made by some people's standards. Oh, no. One Stroll of the most two? famous bad movies ever ever made. Oh, no. Watch- well, it's either Plan 9 or Manos, The Hands of Fate. We're watching Plan 9 from Outer Space. Ooh. <laughs> there it is. I, I Ed Wood is yeah. making Ed his Wood. debut yeah. on the Thank Saturday God. Night Freak yeah, Show. I was going to say, I've never seen Plan 9. Yeah, really? Nope, no, never, never seen, seen it. Plan oh, wow. Nine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Never seen, seen Plan it, 9. I've seen it. it. Yeah. No, I've never seen Plan 9. <laughs> well, this is where you find out why when they say it's a bad movie, <laughs> this is what your, a bad is, movie is really is. Yeah, it's true. Okay. All right. So that's or what Troll 2 might be. I think it's Plan 9. That's what I was thinking. Plan 9, Manos, or Troll 2. I wouldn't do that. All right. <laughs> so that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.